jamais vous voir de nouveau. My name is Oran Katz, uh, I'm an artist and I'm also the director of Symbiotica, which is uh, an art and science centre in the University of Western Australia. So this piece is called Victimus Leather, um, and actually what we're showing here is a version of it, which is a kind of a triple version of uh, small jackets uh, that are grown using living tissue uh, inside a techno-scientific body. This whole notion of the technologically mediated victimless utopia a series of work started with a, a project where we were growing a steak using tissue engineering techniques. So um, that was kind of the, the victim's letter was kind of a natu natural progression from that. And this piece can be read on quite a few different layers. So it can be taken on face value. And the whole idea of being able to grow leather without needing to directly kill animals is, is something which is obviously in the forefront. And people tend to <coughs> to read this piece like that. The second thing is the whole notion of uh, the techno scientific. Uh, the third thing is the, the whole idea of um, the notion of the victimless. So I should uh, point out that we're still using animal-derived materials to uh, in the nutrients for the cells. So the cells might have been taken from, in this case, from a mouse uh, some years ago and uh, propagated. But uh, we still need animal-derived uh, products to feed those cells, and that's why it's not victim. It's not victimless whatsoever. We're looking at the ways in which Western technology is getting better in hiding the victim ever so further so we as consumers don't have to stop and make any ethical decisions when we go ahead and consume the world around us. We're actually employing techniques which were developed as early as 1913. The techno-scientific body or this, those perfusion chambers were developed in the mid-1930s, so it's not uh, high science in, in this sense and it's not very technologically advanced to a certain extent, but it's a way to remind people that what's happening at the moment is that we're living in a situation where uh, cultural perceptions of life are increasingly becoming incompatible with what we know about life through science and more importantly what we do to life through technology. So this piece is, to a certain extent highlights that. And, and you can see people's reactions, you know, they seem to be quite uh, disturbed or challenged by being confronted by something like that. So, Symbiotica, which is started as a small laboratory and now it's basically becoming a center of excellence, uh, is a very unique uh, place uh, in that it allows artists to come into a biological science department, and in this case it's the School of Anatomy and Human Biology at the University of Western Australia, uh, and engage hands-on with the tools of modern biology. So the, the idea is for them not just to um, come as guests to look over the shoulders of scientists but actually to be directly involved in the processes of manipulation of living systems but for the sole purpose of the creation of uh, what we refer to as uh, objects for cultural discussion. You know, We're not trying to find a cure for cancer but we are trying to make sense of this growing gap between our cultural perceptions of life and what's happening to life in laboratories. I think it fits really well with the Science Gallery uh, because I think the, the concept of the Science Gallery is quite amazing and it's really nice to see it's happening and you know it's something that is long overdue for, for something like that to happen to, to engage with uh, issues that are being raised by scientific research but in, in, not, you know, in a much more subtle way than just uh, science communication propaganda and I think that the, the Science Gallery is doing quite well with that and, and that's from my perspective you know that's the natural kind of place to show work that's being developed in Symbiotica. In regard to the concept of uh, techno threads, obviously what, what we're doing here is, is kind of a symbolic gesture towards different types of futures uh, and in this context with the victimless letter it's very, it's very fitting kind of to the whole notion of you know, how we're going to, to treat uh, uh, what we're going to wear. And so, so it works well, although I would never imagine that I would end in a kind of a fashion-driven type of uh, exhibition.